21-year-old Emily Thea. Thank you so much for doing this, and your time is so valuable. I'm really excited to be interviewing you. How are you? I'm awesome. Thank you so much. It's um, I feel privileged to be asked about this interview, so it's very cool for me to. Absolutely. Well, I wanted to start off by playing a clip of you winning your class at the Nordic show. Let's take a look. And it's getting hot up here. That's for sure. Second place and the silver medal goes to United Kingdom. Christine Fox. So Emily, uh, when you heard your name being called, you won the class. Uh, what was going through your mind? Oh, um, I think uh, the first, the first thing I actually thought about was it's unreal because I was so unsure in the lineup where I was. Um, it was like no idea uh, where I was standing and what the judges was thinking. So. Um, when they call out my name, I was like, no, I'm going to get the second place. I was actually pretty sure about that, but it was, yeah, it was undescribable. <laughs> it's so unreal. Yeah, so you're saying like maybe during the comparisons before that, they moved you all around a lot? They actually put me in the same position um, through the whole um, pre-judging. So, I wasn't sure where I was because normally you put them in the center stage and if they want you to win. So, um, yeah, I was just, it's just so sure about a second place because we, I think we were five girls in the lineup and I was second from left, I think. So there were three girls and then there were two in, in the left side of the stage and I was in I think almost at the um, yeah this this not the center of the stage but almost at the center of the stage but I couldn't figure it out so it was actually just so weird to be called out for him. Before we get into more about bodybuilding I think it's so cool that on a lot of your videos on Instagram, you're dancing. I just think that makes people smile so much. Are we gonna see more dancing of you in 2020? Mm -hmm. For sure, uh, definitely. I want to do that a lot more, also because I feel like it's a big part of me. I was uh, actually a um, lead gymnast before I got into bodybuilding. So I love to dance and we got this sort of uh, floor, floor dance uh, kind of thing where we were um, jumping around on the floor and uh, dancing a lot and actually just feeling ourselves in a different way um, compared to bodybuilding. It seems like you've had so many gains, Emily, uh, since 2018. Uh, will you be competing this year? I will. I will compete this year, yes. Um, I will compete in uh, something called the um, IFBB Pro Nordic and um, we are planning on Olympia Amateur in um, Alicante, yeah, but we're not entirely sure yet, depends on how the first competition is going, so then we will plan afterwards. Yeah, when, when is that Olympia Amateur? I think it's the 12th of uh, June. Yeah, and here, yeah, and in April in um, in Denmark at the IFBB Pro Nordic. Emily, something you said on Instagram, why be moody when you can show off your booty? Uh, <laughs> the question is, uh, what's it like seeing gains on your body? Um. I think it's, it's val I don't know if you can say valuable, but it's, it's priceless. Uh, I think it's the, the, actually the big part of why I love bodybuilding. I uh, see your progressive overload all the time and see how you can maintain a different physique from every time you go from a off season to an on season and feel like it's, 
it's something worth fighting for. So um, kind of get the feeling. <laughs> well, maybe explain to people, if you can describe it, what's it like to sacrifice and go after your goals? Uh, what does it take? I feel like it takes a lot of gut. Um, it takes a sort of a certain personality to just go for what you want. And it's not just something you can do overnight. So um, with a lot of dedication and motivation from yourself, I feel like you you have to have yourself in it. It's actually just a very a self-centered sport. So you have to uh, make yourself the, the center of your own attention um, to, to do some certain things. That's perfect. We, we've seen you, you have a bikini with donuts on it. Uh, is that <laughs> your favorite bikini? Who made that bikini? It's from uh, Scene Creations. Um, and um, my, one of my sponsors, or I'm a sponsor athlete at, at her place. Um, she is my bikini mom, mommy, <laughs> mama, I don't know what you call it. Um, and she is just the best. I love her. And when she told me she made me this donut bikini as practice bikini, uh, she was like, oh, well, Emily, I tried something new. Um, this bikini has stones on it. And normally practice bikinis don't, doesn't have stones and different kind of colors and stuff. So she was like, I'm gonna make this perfect for you. And I know you like the sparkles and everything in between. So I got the bikini and I love posing in it. And it's my favorite, yes, so far, it's actually my favorite bikini because I uh, kind of sew my old one. I'm actually very sad about that, but every bikini she made for me is spot on. For the stage this year, are you guys gonna make another suit for the stage? Are you going with the same color? Or? We are going with um, two different suits just to see what can we get into when we get there. But um, yeah, we got two different colors, almost the same as last one, but it has uh, more of a green. Um, yeah, kind of the green fade to it. Yeah, that's cool. You know, when you pose on stage, it, it just looks so natural. I mean, did, did that come? easy for you when you were learning how to pose for bikini oh no 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 i feel no i have uh, oh god how many videos i got of, of me trying to pose so many times i mean 2018 was a very um strange year for me because that was when i first started to actually practice my posing in a in a more professional way but uh, it took a lot of time, took a lot of practice. I mean, I haven't had any help so far, learned all myself. I um, feel like that was a, kind of a, that was a, not a sacrifice because I mean, I, I can I can pose in some sort of way, but uh, if I got the training from someone, maybe that would have been a lot of easier. Uh, but I definitely think that some of my posing still has a lot of work and I feel like I have a lot to do on it still. I think <laughs> I think a good way to describe it is you have very good stage presence. Mm -hmm. I love being on the stage actually. So it's uh, maybe that's right. I, I don't know. Um, but I'm an, also an old uh, actress. So I love being on the stage. And since I've been an elite gymnast and did a lot of hip hop and zumba and stuff then i just naturally move around like dancing and feel like that's why well you dance you mentioned gymnastics um you also sing quite a bit <laughs> I do. emily i don't yeah. want to i don't want to put you on the spot you don't have to it's it's you can say no but can you sing for us a little bit oh that, no <laughs> Well, there's a lot. There's a lot. If, if you want to see champion Emily singing, uh, go to her Instagram because it's fantastic. <laughs> you do seem like a really um, 
you know, this is a good thing. A, a deep thinker, you think a lot. Do you think you get that from your parents or someone in your family? Or um, I think I got it from my mom. She thinks a lot too, but I think it's about my um, my upgrowing, uh, how I act and and how I how I am as a person. I mean, I do overanalyze a lot of stuff. <laughs> And a lot of situations, but I also love to uh, have my emotions in everything I do and uh, feel with everything I do, love everything I do, and go on with that in life. I mean, I work as a um, I work as a boss in something called Hunkermiller. It's uh, an underwear store, and when people complain about something, I. I seem to not get what they're complaining about because I'm so naturally positive thinking um, or positive thinker. So I can't really seem to get if people have something to complain about because someone is dying, the world is ending, something is worse than your bra is not fitting or something like that. So. I mean, I think I get it a lot for myself and my upgrowing as well. But um, my mom is also very emotional. So maybe that's also why. You get, you get some people, they come up to you or maybe they just message you. Uh, they're inspired by you. If I do that, if I get that. Yeah. I actually get a lot of that. A lot of that. I actually get a lot of that. Yes. Um, I sometimes don't see why because I see other people doing the same thing as me. So um, I'm a little bit not so good of understanding why uh, people are uh, contacting me and telling me about all of these great stuff I do for them, for them or uh, why I am an inspiration or something like that. I, I can't seem to understand that really. I don't know why. Well, I think you, ha I think you have charisma. That's the way we would say it here in the U.S. Uh, you can't really? you can't teach charisma. It's just there. So, uh, well done. <laughs> um, what about something specific that you'll be working on for the stage with your body this year? Yes, yes, very much. Um, I have been told, not that I uh, that I can complain about it because I'm very much agree with it, but the judges told me to work on my shoulders. And we've been working on it. We've been, I don't know, a progressive overload all the time. I have the best coach in the whole wide world. So uh, he is doing a lot for me. And we are now every day, I'm trying to post for at least one hour. So I know my posing, so I know my shoes, so I don't fall or anything. And at my last competition, I was so uh, critical because we got this, um, what is it called, when the one presenting the show, the host, he was telling us, uh, I think five, more, five minutes before we got on stage, and it was only two of the classes, the first classes that came on stage, that we only had um, 55, 45 seconds to perform our presentation, our I walk. I walk. And... Um, Nobody else from the other classes were told that. So I needed to change or to uh, speed up my eye walk before I got on stage. So that threw me a little bit out. So I've been critical about that eye walk, the last eye walk I did actually, where I won my class. So um, I talked to the judges and they told me to, to kind of like um, speed it down a little bit. So that's what I'm working on now. I'm trying to just do it more actually more naturally than I do it now and I'm um, trying to do it a little bit more basic yeah that's what I'm worried about well t tell me how it works over there overseas so are you nationally qualified are you officially a pro now uh kind of explain that to me the thing is that I, I actually think that it works the same way as in the U.S. um it's an pro qualifier class I've won I got to the overall, and uh, now I'm fighting for my pro cup. What about this photo shoot that you did last week? It was a little bit out of your comfort zone. How did it go? 
it got really, really well. <laughs> it got a lot of uh, good feedback. So, I mean, that was a good thing. And I'm going back to the studio this Monday to um, do a little bit more. And maybe a little bit uh, backstage footage. But we, uh, I'm loving the way we shape my body to, uh, into these, um, yeah, overwhelming photos. So we're going to continue that. And I'm going to take a little bit more of a, of a risk, if you can say that. So, yeah, it's going really, really good. Emily, last question for you. Um, you know, a lot of people say they don't have time to work out. We know that being in the gym is very good for the body. Uh, what, would you say, what, would you say, what would you say for those people? Any advice for them? Okay, so this is a small message to, uh, to all of them who <laughs> they don't have time to work out, especially my sister, because she wants to lose some pounds, but she don't want to work for it. Uh, or she says she doesn't have the time. You can always find the time. It's not about time, it's about, um, again, motivation, inspiration. It's about what you want. If you don't want it, you don't want it enough. If you want it and you don't work for it, you don't want it enough. But you need to get your ass off the couch and actually work for it. <laughs> That's perfect. Well, thank you so much for your time. It's very exciting to be talking to you and hopefully in the future I'll get to talk to you again. Of course, I will be ready. So uh, I hope to hear from you again.